Hey, this is Jay, and this is a quick tutorial for creating an AI assistant to help you manage your email inbox using Google Sheets, GPT-4.0, and N8N. I wanted to set up a workflow like this just to help with my uh, my inbox, uh, mostly just looking to uh, organize it a little bit by adding some labels to different things and keep track of what's happening, but, uh, but to also be able to pull out some values automatically uh, and hopefully sort of slowly grow out this system. Um, but basically, it just triggers off of a, a new inbound email. Uh, it'll run through GPT. Um, I do have a, a kind of a, a simple Google Sheet to actually handle some of the labels here just to be a little bit more dynamic and how uh, I describe the emails and then have kind of like a bank here. Uh, unfortunately, you can't just apply um, labels directly to an email. You have to use a, a label ID. So the label has to actually exist in Gmail. So you will have to come in here and create them or... Uh, create a quick workflow that would uh, grab the labels from your Google Sheet and create them uh, using uh, N8N, um, but that is an option to manage that. Uh, but once uh, once the AI, though, sees the email, it could then look at that sheet to then determine how to apply the label. Uh, and then after that, um, we will have to actually grab those labels. So you'll need to grab all the labels, filter for the one you just did it, you just um, decided on using, um, add that to the email, uh, currently and then after that you know uh, that at least helps you just organize if you want to just add labels um, but beyond that you could then start to add some extra functionality as far as like depending on what the label is you could then take another action so uh, if it's like an invoice then you could maybe grab some of the details about that invoice and throw it in another uh, spreadsheet or whatever uh, database uh, if it's something maybe high priority you can maybe have it send you a message on telegram um, so just a pretty quick, quick, uh, pretty quick workflow on setting up a really simple system to hopefully help manage your email a little bit better. Um, so now that we've kind of gone over a high level one, I'm going to go ahead and just completely delete this and we'll build it from scratch. All right. So obviously we are going to trigger off of a Gmail message received. So uh, in this case, you probably would want something a little more frequent. So like every hour is great. Um, obviously you have like a few, uh, much more customizable options. Uh, I'm a big fan of the cron expression. So, uh, I do have a whole tutorial talking about that. So if you're more interested in, in, in custom, custom time, uh, scheduling, um, definitely check that out. Um, they used to have a link here, but I don't see it anymore. Uh, but yeah, basically over on cron tab guru, uh, if you wanted something a little more complicated, like, you know, three times a day, Monday through Friday. Uh, you could use a cron expression like this and get uh, get this uh, trigger to happen a little bit more specifically. Uh, but in, in my case, again, I'm just going to do like every hour is fine. So we're going to grab the last uh, email. And then we will throw it over to uh, GPT. So let's do an open AI messenger model. Um, again, you would create your op uh, open AI account. Um, hopefully, you know, you've already got the credentials, but uh, once you're in the uh, platform.openai.com um, you can create an API key and then just uh, give it access to this so uh, from there I'm going to just do GPT-4.0 so it has a little bit more thinking power uh, and then with a quick quick prompt I'll just say you are a helpful uh, email assistant based on the details of the email you will determine the appropriate label. And then we're going to give it the Google Sheet. So use the email rules Google Sheet. Or actually, let's say use the description column from the email rules Google Sheet to determine, uh, yeah, to determine the appropriate appropriate label and then we're going to say email details and i'm just going to give it uh, a little bit of context so i'm going to say uh so i'm going to say from and we'll just drag in the email address so that i'll do that and then i'm going to say subject And then snippet. 
So that should give it enough to kind of understand what the email is and decide what the category should, or what the label uh, would be. Um, and then after that, I'm going to say format your answer in JSON. JSON, there we go, like this. And just a really simple JSON object to say label. And label here. Content label, actually. Let's say content label. Cool. Then that should be easy enough. Um, last thing down here, simplify output option is good. And then the output content as JSON. We'll go ahead and do that as well, just to make sure that kind of reinforces that format. Um, so pretty straightforward there. Not going to test it yet because I am going to add a simple Google Sheets tool so that it can refer to the Google Sheet. And as I already showed, I do have a, a simple email rules uh, Google Sheet and really has two columns, just label and description. That way I can read the description and then decide what the most appropriate label would be. Um, just kind of makes this a little bit easier than having to go through and, and add all your label options in here manually. Um, but again, you'd have to also make sure that they are in Google as well. Uh, so then, yeah, all right, sheet one, email rules. Uh, and that's it. We just want to make sure that it has access to that. So now if we test this, hopefully it'll see that this email is actually very urgent and we need to respond. Yes. High priority makes sense. Uh, okay. So that's pretty straightforward. We now have the output of the label. Um, so now, unfortunately we have to get all of the labels that are available. Uh, so we're going to get many labels. Uh, where did I go? There we go. Get many labels. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, just get many labels. Um, you could do return all. We're going to just leave it at limit 50, uh, depending if you have, you know, a million labels. Uh, one thing to note is that it is 19, it's going to grab 19 items. Uh, so it doesn't show you all of them, but they all are right here. So like if you go to table, uh, table view, then you can see that it's actually a lot of options here. Um, obviously we don't need 19 labels, so we're just going to do a quick filter on that. So we have to do filter and then uh, we are going to grab the label name. So we're going to say label. So this is the one from open AI and say, if the one that open AI picked, uh, we want to grab the one that matches that. So from the filter, we're just going to grab the name and hopefully grab the one that's named high priority. So let's test that. And there we go. And now we have access to the ID of the label that we want to apply. Uh, so that would be the last step here. We'll just go back to Gmail and then add label to message. First action there. Uh, and now we can actually grab the, so we have the message ID. So that would be from the Gmail trigger originally. And we're going to add the label of ID from the one that we filtered out. So pretty straightforward there. Um, go ahead and test. Should apply the label. And double check. My email already has the high priority label. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to change the colors in here uh, when you create a label. Uh, I think you have to actually go into Google and do that. It's not doesn't seem to be an API uh, of, available, unfortunately. Um, but that's pretty straightforward. And I mean, that I think in general would just be super useful just to be able to have your labels already uh, uh, applied automatically. Some of that can be done uh, through Google's just labeling system um, as far as like rules for uh, or filtering, ru filtering rules. But if you try to get into more dynamic stuff or you want to be specific, it, it, this is kind of where um, OpenAI can really, or whatever, any AI model you want to use can be a little bit more flexible in trying to determine which labels to apply. Um, but then after that, I mean, you're free to, you know, take different actions based on that label if you wanted. Um, so we could do a switch. And we will have to hard code a little bit just to be able to determine, you know, uh, when it's, you know, certain conditions, then that's what you need to do. Um, but what we can do is say, uh, let's say when the filter is high priority. So if it is high priority, um, in the example I did, um, I sent a message to myself in uh, Telegram. So uh, one tricky thing that I ran into here was that um, if you do Telegram, so I was going to say, you know, send me the email notification or whatever, uh, you need a chat ID and you have not received a chat ID yet. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to hard code it. So actually I want to delete this and real quick, assuming that you already have a Telegram bot set up, 
Uh, again, I actually have another tutorial for setting those up, but it's actually super easy. Uh, when you're in Telegram, you can just search for bot father uh, and uh, do like slash new bot. And there's just a couple couple questions and then you get the ID that you need to be able to create a Telegram bot. Um, so, but yeah, uh, to be able to get the chat ID though, uh, I'm actually going to create a kind of floating trigger node here. Uh, Telegram, there we go. And just do a quick test. So I'm going to say on message uh, and then Telegram, just say testing. And now if we test, it should catch that. Cool. And now we can just grab the chat ID. So uh, we're just going to hard code it because we don't have a Telegram trigger in this case. So now if I go back, I can add a Telegram node and now I can send a message. So send a text message with chat ID. Uh, and then it's going to say high priority. And then um, we don't have input data yet. So we're going to run this a couple times, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and test that. Cool. So that'll actually work. Um, sent us a message that says high priority. Uh, and then now I have the data to be able to actually add it. So I would just say, I'm going to just grab in, you know, the snippet here. Now we can kind of get a quick preview of what the email content is. So let's go ahead and test one more time. Cool. So now back to Telegram. All right. Got the content of my email. Uh, it does include the footer, which is yeah, not great. We could, you know, take some steps to maybe pull the, pull just the body out or summarize it or something like that if you wanted to. But anyway, that's a quick way to be able to actually just be able to filter your email and not have to get every notification, just only be emailed if, uh, or only be messaged on Telegram if there's something that was important that was emailed to you. Um, so that's just one switch statement. Um, let's say if we want to do, you know, uh, actually one thing that I did want to do, uh, let's add another route and I'm going to grab that, that original filtered, um, filtered label again. And then I believe it's called invoices. Actually, I'm going to grab this from just to make sure that it's exactly the same. I wanted invoices and receipts. And actually, I really would like to have a Gumroad label is probably what I would do. But uh, invoices and receipts will work for now. Um, so I'm going to add that. And then with that route, uh, I actually am going to add another OpenAI node. And just message a model. And in this case, I'm just going to use GPT-40 Mini because I just need to read it. I don't need to do anything really that complicated. So GPT-40 Mini. Uh, you are a hopeful, uh, let's say, invoice assistant. Read the email content and return the amount from the invoice and the email account from. And it was say in the email account. And then say, here's the email content. Email snippet. And that would data would go there. Uh, then we'll say format your answer in JSON like this. And then say amount. Amount. And email. 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 Uh, let's put brackets on it just to be specific. Email. Okay. Close that up. Uh, and that should be good to go. Um, again, making sure that this last option here, output content as JSON, is checked just to kind of doubly reinforce that. Uh, and uh, let's see. Well, I will go ahead and cheat here and let's say to myself invoice from purchase. Purchase complete for $10 from test guy 
at mail.com. Classic. Cool. So let's send that to myself. And now, if we test, that'll be the last email that was sent to me. So, all right, yeah, the test is good. Uh, it didn't actually do anything. Um, so let's go ahead and test the whole workflow one more time since I don't have any data at this point. So let's test flow. All right, so our logic worked. We got into invoices and receipts. Um, and now we can actually pull the data out of that. Uh, so I don't have an email. Okay. Yeah, so cool. So just return the default data. Uh, so now we can actually provide it with a snippet. So something it can try to read to be able to get the content out. So let's drag that in there. That's not where I want that to go. And that should hopefully pull out the, yep, there we go. Pulled out the values that I want. And I'm going to say I have Gumroad emails and amount. So I'm going to connect to Sheets. Add a row. And I just created a simple Google Sheet for Gumroad emails. Uh, and Sheet 1. Uh, not exactly what this use case is for. I would technically be looking for e for Gumroad emails, but that's okay. Um, yeah, then in this case, we're going to send in the email from it, the response, though. So there's the email. And I'm going to grab the amount. And that should hopefully then add that amount in. So let's do the entire workflow one more time, assuming that I have not got another email invoice purchase from that and it already uh tagged it with the label which is nice so let's test this one more time looking good awesome we have the email pulled out successfully and the amount from the email so you're looking good so there we go. That's pretty much it. Uh, I just mostly wanted to show uh, an easy way to set up an AI assistant to help you manage your email inbox. Um, obviously, it could be as simple as just adding, you know, the appropriate label a little bit more dynamically. Um, again, you could also dynamically update these labels uh, if you wanted to just keep track of your email rules data, uh, you know, uh, database, spreadsheet, whatever, uh, and dynamically add those labels with another hook because um, you can just add or you can create a label. Um, uh, as well within it in. So uh, there's uh, plenty of uh, flexibility here to keep this pretty dynamic. And then at the end, you know, be able to take whatever route you need to after that. So depending on whatever the label is, you could then decide to, you know, message yourself if it's something high priority or uh, if that email is an invoice, you know, add it to another spreadsheet or whatever. So lots of options here, but a pretty simple way to set that up. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, I think it'll be really helpful for me, but uh, let me know uh, if you have any questions or comments or any other tutorials you'd like to see. I'm going to continue to create videos like this. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.